Hey guys, Loot Wizard here with a video on Gems of War, and uh, it's the first day of the week, so that means everything's been reset, and we do have Guild Wars that is coming up here, uh, so you better set your defenses uh, today, and get ready for tomorrow when Guild Wars starts, and I do recommend using troops for defense that are abs uh, unique from each other, and every single team for each day, that'll maximize your points. Uh, in Guild Wars. So that's a tip there for that. And let's go in and see what's in the Soul Forge. Uh, let's go ahead and start with troops. And uh, nothing really crazy here for the legendaries. Nothing worth crafting there. Uh, as far as mythic troops, we do have a couple of good ones here. I would skip over Dracula's and Yureli, and really it's between Suna and Aquaticus for me. I would say that Aquaticus is definitely better than Suna in most cases, but Suna is uh, a close second because it has Life Steal and Magic Steal, and that is really great. But Aquaticus has uh, multiple damage, random damage to, let's just take a look here. Uh, it does light splash damage to three random enemies, so you have a lot of damage being spread around, plus you have it exploding blue gems on the board, which allows it to uh, fill up with a bit more mana. So something like this is a really good mythic troop to get. So if you don't have it and you do have the 4,000 gems, I do recommend crafting Aquaticus this week. And let's go over to weapons. Uh, Hope's Crescent is a... Uh, weapon that is for Mugram Woods, which is the kingdom of this week. Um, what it does is it eliminates all armor from an enemy, deals 27 damage. If the enemy's life is greater, it deal triple damage. Now, I do not personally have this weapon, and I am still not sure if I'm going to craft it for the 300 diamonds, uh, simply because I have far better weapons that eliminate armor. So this weapon is probably better off for lower leveled uh, players because when you're a lower level it's most likely the enemy's life is going to be greater than your own and you'll be doing triple damage which uh, you know your magic is going to be less but you'll probably be doing somewhere around like 50 uh, or so damage which is pretty high for someone that is a lower level. But for someone that's a high level like myself I have many other weapons that eliminate all armor and then uh, you know damage is is much better on some of those other weapons so I may pass over crafting that um, but we also do have the doomed glaive that's in here which I think is worth it now it may not be worth it if you do have some of the other doomed uh, doom skull weapons you know you may not want to collect all of them and it's up to you uh, if you have one it's probably you know they all basically do the same thing they're just converting different colors of gems to doom skulls and they require a different color uh, for you to cast it but these are very powerful weapons I consider them to be the most powerful uh, Tower of Doom event weapons there's currently three types one that gives life one that does scatter damage and then this one that converts uh, gems to doom skulls and I consider these types to be the most powerful of the three so feel free to get this one if you can afford the 60,000 souls jewels and the 900 diamonds all right so let's go and take a look at what is in the shop and this is something too that we're going to be going after in this video is Krampus a new legendary troop which will deal 9 damage to an enemy and then it will submerge them or devour them or transform them back into a daemon and knock them to the back. So uh, we're going to go ahead and try to get this legendary troop and I'm also missing the mythic troop from this kingdom so we're going to hope that we can also get the mythic troop uh, from Mogram Woods as well when we're doing those openings. So but first of all let's go to the shop and let's take a look at the glory rewards. And we do have a new troop here that is purchable, purchasable for 300 glory. And uh, this troop is actually pretty good. I was looking at uh, what it does here earlier. And it will destroy a row. And then it will gain 23 life or whatever your magic currently is. Boosted by green gems destroyed. And the boost ratio is 5. 
uh, and that is not something that is boosted uh, by your magic. So even if you have lower magic, every green gem that you destroy in a row, it will get uh, five life per green gem destroyed added to this troop as far as life goes and then finally it will cleanse all other allies so this is going to be a, a, a good utility troop here to cleanse all of your allies as well as gain life when you're destroying those gems and it has such a low mana cost of 10 and two different colors so it shouldn't be hard to fill it back up and it also has some reduction from skulls and reduction from spells and it's immune to entangle so this might be a really good troop here to put at the very top of the team because it also has a way to gain life. It'll be a sort of tank and it will have that ability to cleanse all other allies. So now if you do have enough glory saved up, which I always try to have enough, I try to buy enough of these to every single week to ascend them to mythic. And what that allows me to do is keep upgrading my kingdoms so that I can get more tributes. And also, uh, you're getting quite a few arcane uh, stones by doing this. I'm getting 41, as well as getting 205 gold. Uh, and then I also get 82 glory keys for this. Now, it does cost uh, 12,300 glory to do this. And, but since I have enough glory, I had 240,000 glory, 240, glory. So, uh, that is not an issue for me. And I also go into the Spoils of War and I go ahead and buy the maximum amount of this for 1800 glory just simply because those 10 event keys are um, a way to get new mythic troops. Uh, not new ones they release monthly but the ones that you don't have that show up for that kingdom. It's a good way to try to hunt for those mythics. So, um, which this week I am going to try to hunt for uh, this mythic that I do not currently have for this kingdom. You know, there's only about four mythics, I think, that I have, uh, that I don't have yet. Maybe there's five. I'm going to go in here and just take a look really quick. Uh, so if we go here, base rarity, unowned. So I currently have, I do not have Death, Doomclaw, Fallen Vladis, Jotnar, Storm Shield, Plague, Undyne, Voice of Orpheus, War, Wolfgarrick. And then, of course, these are the uh, craftable boss uh, troops or whatever in the Soul Forge when you have the right, um, when you have the right amount of resources to do that, which I don't right now. Uh, but yeah, so there currently isn't a kingdom, I don't believe, for the apocalypse. So I have to craft death, plague, and war uh, still. But uh, it looks like this week we do have the Kingdom of Mogram Woods, so I will be going after this mythic here. Hopefully we can get it in the event keys when we're also, we're also going to try to get this new uh, Krampus legendary as well. So uh, let's take a look, quick look at its traits here. So it will inflict curse when dealing skull damage. It deals five damage to a, a random enemy when matching red gems. That's interesting. Uh, average cost for a legendary troop, 15, but um, it has a 30% chance to devour an enemy or transform them. So that's, it's interesting. Um, and it is a monster. So we do have a class that is monster. So if you want to do it, an entire monster team, and I believe there is a monster weapon as well that will generate mana for those types of troops. So let's go into our chest and I have only 158 event keys because I spent all of them for um, getting a mythic troop for the other kingdom that was there a week ago or two weeks ago, I forget. Uh, but yeah, let's, uh, let's go in and do that now. Hopefully we'll get lucky, right? Um, but yeah. I'm going to open 50 at a time. I could open one at a time, but it's like, eh. That's just really, really slow way to do it. And we, at least we got the new legendary. So we got that. We got Krampus. Interesting art. That's a very long tongue. It almost looks like he's... Huh. Anyway, 
Uh, so we got that, and I have 58 left. I want to get the uh, mythic troop here, and we got a second one, second Krampus there. I'm gonna have to use some gems, hopefully. Now, if we look at this, we can see that I only have a 0.11% chance of getting a mythic. So, you know, I could burn through a lot of these uh, gems here. I'm, I'm really willing to go maybe down to 20,000 gems, but we'll see here how lucky I get. <laughs> the first one out of this one was the new legendary troop. I got three of them. Jeez. Well, we're going to end up ascending that guy to Mythic probably once we get done here. And another one. Come on, Mythic Troop. Jeez. I might have to uh, save up my diamonds to craft it. It just takes so long to get those 4,000 diamonds. But it also takes a long time to uh, get that many gems. I, I'm down to 20,000. I was saying I was going to stop there, but I might do one more. It'll put me just a little bit below that. If I don't get it this time, I'll just have to, you know, wait and craft. You got you got to set limits for yourself. That's what's one of the important things with any kind of resources that you have, whether it's in a game or real life. You got to set limits for yourself. Otherwise, you just you you, you just go crazy. So that's going to be my limit. And we didn't get the mythic. That's fine. Eventually, I will get it. Um, not a not a real big deal. We did get the legendary. So, uh, let's go in and upgrade this legendary troop. Where are you? I know you're in here somewhere. Well, we can upgrade this one too because this is the new, to send this to Mythic right away. This is the new troop that I got in the glory shop. Go ahead and upgrade that. And yeah, now it's mythic status. It's all unlocked. Uh, where's Krampus? Here he is. Okay, so we can actually ascend him to mythic. And level him up to max level. And we can unlock all of these traits. And yeah, I might find myself uh, using this troop a little bit. If anything, it will knock the uh, a troop to the back of the team, which is a good tactic to disrupt the enemy. But it has that 30% chance to devour because it, it it's doing it's going to do one of three things, right? So it's going to submerge them, or devour them, or transform them. So it's got a 30% chance to either submerge, devour, or transform. And, uh, you know, wow. I just realized that the, uh, the back picture of this guy's thing is, uh, <laughs> it's a really bloody Christmas, uh, wrapped box, which is kind of unsettling, actually. Anyway, uh, it'll be fun to kind of use that guy a little bit. But yeah, that's about it for this video. I will probably be posting a few videos uh, this week on Guild War teams. So, you know, if, if you want more of that stuff, you know, let me know in the comment section. And I appreciate you guys. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.